Good afternoon once more, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and welcome back to Focus the Television. I am your boy Muraja the Great and the emphasis is always the Great. Uh, as usual, if you are new here, welcome and uh, kindly consider subscribing so that we can keep on supporting our channel together. Today, I have a very great leader. I have within the show the president of Taita Taveta University. We are going to share and uh, is going to share more, more mostly on uh, the leadership in our country and uh, the whole world at large. So before I dig in to, <coughs> to more, I just want uh, himself to introduce himself. So welcome, brother, to our today's talk. Okay, thank you so much, my brother. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I'm Edwin Wekesa. I'm the chairperson of the Students Association of Taita Taveta University. And I'm glad to be here. Yeah. May I take this opportunity to say thank you for inviting me. Welcome, welcome. I bro. think I'm ready for <laughs> the questions. <laughs> yeah. And I know it's going to be something interrogative. Ah, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. So, my brother, I'm just humbled for your presence here today. Mm. Despite your physics issue, I can see that you have struggled enough to be here today. So, I will just dig in direct to the point. Okay. Uh, my question goes this way. On a basic note, who is Wekesa? <laughs> okay, first of all, what you need to know, yeah. Wekesa is a, is a student yeah. at Taita Taveta University, mm -hmm. a fourth year student, yeah. undertaking procurement and at the same time practicing procurement. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, Wekesa is a third born son yeah. from the family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the family of four, and Wekesa is saved, mm -hmm. he's born again. Okay. Yes. So, and just to add on, Wekesa is a young, ambitious person mm -hmm. who is ready to serve his people. Yeah. I will only pick one Wekesa. Yes. The Wekesa, the president of the Tataveta University. Thank you. So, I'm dealing with Wekesa, the president of the Tataveta University. Okay. As a president of the institution, do you consider the job? as an actual job okay from your question yeah i actually <clears throat> consider it as an actual job yeah. it is something that i personally volunteered for yeah it is something that i had insights mm -hmm. it is something that i saw it's good for me and for those who are surrounding me yeah thank you uh some few hours I had a conversation with the young people because they were aware that you are going to be here today. Okay. And uh, a good uh, <coughs> freshman asked me a question. He asked and I boss it this way, how many people are in your team? Okay, which team are you referring? Okay, the, you are the president of the, of the university, university. Uh, yes. government. Yes. You can call it an administration, your administration. Yes. So what is your administration for? Someone okay, to my administration consists of seven members. Mm -hmm. That is the chairperson, vice chairperson, mm -hmm. secretary general, yeah. and then we have finance secretary, yeah. academic secretary, sports and entertainment secretary, and health and environment secretary. Thank you very much. Yes. Hope that is well clarified. So the man we have here within the show today is a man representing almost seven dignitaries. Yes. That is the man in charge, the commander in chief of the. I'm the forces, all of the institution forces. Of the student <laughs> council. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank yes. you very much. So, uh, uh, my next question goes this way. Uh, Mr. President, can you clarify to us what is the supreme role? I know that there are a lot of roles of the the president of the institution, yes. but what is this your supreme role as the okay. president of the institution? As per the constitution, that is the constitution, mm -hmm. the supreme role of the chairperson, I can say it's overall administration. You you oversight everything, each and every docket, to make sure that all goes well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. And among each and every role, mm -hmm. what I can say it is being the custodian of the constitution. That's also an important role of the chairperson of this institution. Yeah. Now, Mr. Wekeza. Do you believe that since you joined in the administration, I believe that you joined the, the you, you are, you are, what period, what period up to now? So far, I can say it's six months yeah. since I was elected yeah. and since I assumed office. Yeah. 
Yes. So, uh, do you believe that up to that time, up to now, you have impacted the lives of the students of the institution? And if yes, how? Absolutely. Yeah. What I can say, as per now, my time is my, my time is not yet over. Yeah. But there are some few things mm-hmm. that we had uh, we had we had we had told our fellow comrades, yeah. and as per now, we have achieved them. Yeah. And we are we have we are, we still have more to do. More to do. Yes. So you say that you have at least done something yes. to impact the lives of the students in yes. the institution. Yes. And I believe that when I was interacting with the students there, uh, they posted some questions. And they said. Uh, based on the challenges they have. So, uh, in your administration, I will start with that perspective. What are the challenges you encounter as a student leader when you're delivering to the comrades of the institution? Okay, the biggest challenge that you'll experience one you learned in as a SATU SEC member is resources. We have limited resources to cater for unlimited ones for students. So it's up to you as a leader to look ways in which you are going to finance all the projects that you promised, or each and everything that you promised comrades, out of alternative means. Sure. Uh, <coughs> when I interacted with the students, uh, they sub- submitted that. Uh, the basic challenges that they have up to now uh, is uh, mostly that they, there is what we call low patriotism to their institution because uh, it was more evidence that the institution has recorded a small percentage of uh, the intake, most probably in reference to this last intake. Uh, as the president of the institution, what do you think uh, is the best way to tackle that so that we can at least increase the population of our institution and then increase the patriotism among the young people? Okay. First of all, what you people need to know yeah. is that the intake that we experience, it is out of efforts that were put in before, not now. Yeah. So what I can say is that we we should be ambassadors of our institution. We should send good messages outside there. There's no way a, a student from Tetraveda University is going to speak ill about this institution. Then you expect a stranger who doesn't know even at Tavera University to come here. Mm. So it is upon us yeah. to sit down mm-hmm. and talk good about our own institution so that we can attract many more other people. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Mr. President, uh, my concern is that according to your view, according to your observation, uh, what is this challenge that you see is a major challenge concerning the students' welfare and uh, what is your strategy and how you can tackle it? Anything that you are on plan to solve. That okay. Is a to okay. When it comes to student welfare, yeah. we have these needy cases. We have needy cases, which is alarming in our institution. Yeah. And during this regime of mine, we have set aside a good amount of money to cater for bursary, to help those needy. We have we have cases whereby students are sleeping hungry. We have cases whereby students cannot afford to buy basic needs. But in my government, we have set aside a good amount of money, which in less than two weeks' time, you will see those things being channeled out. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And that's a promise. So, Meskia <laughs> Gabisa, I think I'm doing my job in the best way I should have done. Uh, Kiongozi, you do events in the institution. Huh? Yes. Last, day, last time I experienced, I experienced what you call the Freshers Pass. Yes. Uh, my question is, how many events do you support you as the SATU people? To supposed to have or in a, in a year? To supposed to have in a year. Mm-hmm. We are not limited to events. Mm-hmm. We can have as much events as possible. The problem is resources. Yeah. If we have resources, then we can have many, many events. But if we have limited resources, then that means we'll have minimal, minimal events. But... Limited resources that doesn't guarantee us that we will have limited. Okay, limited resources should not guarantee students that we are going to have few events. Yeah. As leaders, we are supposed to do what we call resource mobilization. Because what I believe, as a leader, there are two things that you need to achieve while in leadership. One, networking. Two, resources. 
if you don't have resources then work, work on networking yeah so in our side we, we are currently working on networking yeah we are dealing with outsourcing yeah currently we have sent some letters to well wishers yeah. donors mm-hmm. to sponsor future events that we are going to have in here so that means the number of events should be limited it's unlimited unlimited yes yeah that's a nice submission uh kingozi i forgot to mention something taita taveta university claim to be the home of ideas yes. and i believe that it is the home of ideas uh, i want you to comment on the environment of the taveta university based your argument on uh, it being the home of ideas okay personally what i can say yeah taita taveta indeed it's home of ideas but where people get wrong where does these ideas come from does these ideas come from top management or yeah. come from entire students and it's my appeal today to my fellow comrades that Taveta is a home of ideas ideas from entire students not only limited to staffs or non teaching staffs so with me yeah. we are in home of ideas and we can explore ideas and our potential to the fullest yeah thank you and there there's a good one one student one comrade do submit something he was having a proposal and i think it's good to mention him and acknowledge him the same he said that in Taveta University uh, we believe that this is a dry land as in dry land i am not wrong but uh, the issue of water i think you saw that in doubt uh, that's a big gap uh, now he was submitting something on that the water that we have we spend that, that we use during the wash washing the same that is going that is dumped there that's what we call that use it water in the sewer 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 yeah so yeah so he had a plan on refining that water back so that it can be used for water so what do you think to other students who have same ideas with him what is the best journey for them to articulate the ideas to the platform so that they can be considered okay if a student has an idea of recycling that water yeah. from sewerage to clean water maybe that is a noble idea that's a good idea that will save our institution in future mm-hmm. but that it should be it should be done in such a manner that it is clean water that's being produced there because we all know what are the effects of consuming that water so we should keep into consideration it's a good idea but how is it how, how is it going to be done thank you so so far you go how is it was the president how do you feel and uh, what is your experience because there are some young readers there who admire your leadership in other words they want to be like you maybe they want to be the president of the institution one day and uh, what is the eligibility for someone to be uh, the president of the institution Okay first of all what i can say it's good you feel good to be called a president yeah <laughs> but it's more than that responsibility because leadership is so not it's not all about titles but responsibility sure. so immediately when you assume office you are required to do a lot so what you are going to do is what will define your leadership True. not your title yeah and to my fellow comrades who wish to one day contest for this for the same position that I'm sitting in yeah. what I can advise them we have a constitution that gives guidelines to the eligibility of someone to vie for various posts yeah so they can just go back to the constitution refer to the eligibility of one to contest for this position mm-hmm. and if they meet the requirements then no one will bar them from standing okay yes yeah so uh, mr president uh i want you to talk a little bit on the because i believe one of your roles is that you link the student and the administration i think that so so far how can you describe the relationship between the administration and the student okay in my leadership yeah. what i can say the link between administration and student has really improved yeah currently we are we have been having consultative meetings with the top management mm-hmm. we representing students that's a clear indication that there is a good relationship between management and students and after those meetings we have been experiencing results whereby after discussing what is to be done the administration has gone ahead implementing for example the first meeting that we had with the administration being chaired by 
our vice chancellor professor Fred Simio Barasa yeah we discussed on issues concerning repair work mm-hmm. in the institution security and he assured us that he's going to work on it and now when you move around the institution you realize that it is well secured we have electricity bulbs fit, fitted each and everywhere yeah. high mast high mast that lights fitted and then plumbing has also been done well yeah that's what i can say as well that's a nice and that is a thumb because we should give a thumb where it should be given yes, eh? exactly yeah Uh, I will allow my fellow colleagues njo namlikuja na wageni wengi sana yes i came with uh, friends of mine whom is whom, whom they stood with me during my difficulty times <laughs> while i was looking for this position yeah, so, yes they are among the few friends who stood with me okay. they gave me support yeah. both financial yeah. in, and, and and in kind yeah. yes anyway and I, it must go to lego that i was one of your opponent yes. <laughs> not only opponent you are you are also in my team I before was, you joined the, oppon- <laughs> the opposition <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the as yes. you know, sometimes we do tell people that uh, leadership is not all about an entity yes. it's all about nature it's all about an agreement yeah. it's all about your ideas they should understand that and we should talk about that in, a, in another second so i will allow those who are with me to ask you one or two questions if they have then i will proceed okay thank the remaining tunnel uh and good with a question maybe Feel free, free, free. You can ask free, free. any question. Okay, Mr. President. Yes. I have a question for you. Yeah. Please, please, come uh, As the president of uh, the institution, it might be institution. What are your plans to the heart of the day? Mr. President, please, please, please. Okay that is a good question what is my plan for the we call them local artists <laughs> for this institution yeah so i've been having a good plan for the artists and previously we had precious bash and i was among the people who stood firm and said local artists should be given chance to perform because i do believe that we need to consume what we produce Secondly, yeah. <laughs> what I can say is that we are going to have cultural week, we are going to have career exposure. Yeah. So that's where artists will come in. That's where artists will come and show other comrades what they have. And after that, personally, I'm also going to move, to go ahead and advise my fellow members who we are serving with, yeah, to sit down and discuss on ways that we can support the local artists. Even if it me even if it, it it means pumping some few resources there yeah. and I'm, when i talk about resources i'm talking about some few cash, cash yeah. yes. <laughs> thank you yeah. that's a nice submission any question before we wrap it up for the audience i think uh, yes sir uh, i like yes Okay thank you for, thank you so much my brother Aaron for that question concerning constitution it is clearly evident not only with us but the entire students association that previously we had issues with our constitution we had a lot of loops gaps that need to be to be sealed yeah. and i promise fellow comrades that we are going to sit down as a team review the constitution and design it in a manner that is going to serve each and every comrade as for now i can confirm that we have gone through the first stage whereby congress members together with sec members have sat down reviewed the constitution where it's supposed to be amended we have submitted the constitution to the dean of students who has also submitted it to the dean's committee waiting to be forwarded to the senate after senate it will now be sent back to students whereby entire students will do what is what we call public participation and that i think it will be the second last step before being taken back to the senate for 
final approval. Thank you. Last one. Thank you so much, my brother. That's a very good question. You know, when you you can also define a leader that a leader is someone who builds another leader. Personally, I've spotted many upcoming leaders, and currently I'm working with them, and I'm also advising them on the right direction to take. So with me, but we need to know. I might advise. I might support. But the sovereignty <laughs> lies to the people. It is the will of the people that that it will be reflected at the end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much, the audience. You have done a marvelous work. Uh, for those who you have another question, thank you. Maybe I know. Another question to pose about the, the local artists and the talents that we have. We know that you is a form of idea, and very many people have ideas in the clubs and societies. They have their own. And I want to ask, apart from doing the pressure bash cut or wix, uh, if you look at other institutions, you can see that they have found another platform there by they advertise their local uh, artists, they advertise the talents that are found in the university. Which kind of activity that you're going to do in order to find to form a platform that will advertise the local talents and the local artists that we have? Okay, for example, as we are sitting here, this is a <laughs> a, a, a local station we call it yeah. Fogota TV. Focused comrades Taita in the, So in the that, this is a clear indication that we are going to use <laughs> such platform yeah, to yes. market our institution, to market talents that are in within here. Yeah. So that's a good wrap up. This, yeah. Yes. No, it's it's a, an inspiration an inspiration of each and every individual. That if given this this opportunity or given this chance, I live I like to, to live this bigger. Now you as our president, in fact the beloved president for, for what you've done for us. What are you what are you what are you what what, what are you like 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 dreaming to save us? What what, what is it that uh, the goal you want to leave for us to remember? Legacy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, my brother, for that question. What I can say is that, personally, I had a dream. And my dream was to change this institution depending on the needs arising. You know, I cannot say that I want to leave a legacy of maybe bringing a school bus to this institution. <laughs> but immediately when I land into office, I get that there are, there are, we have school buses here which have already been procured. Yeah. So my legacy will be that I will have dealt with the issue at hand that will be have uh, will be affecting comrades. Yeah. Yes, solving that issue will be my legacy. Thank you very much the audience. Naona mlikuwa na mazuri nzuri sana. I just want to thank those people who have participated during our patrol on the streets, the comrades who, who sold their will and they posed some good questions that uh, our president has answered uh, in a good way. So I just want us to lap up with our institution because you are a leader. Now you need to give us something. Uh, Mr. President, what do you think uh, should be done in a, in a minute form by the comrades, by the institution, by the vice chancellor, by anybody, the partners of the institution, to ensure that our institution uh, really achieves its goal, since it's the home of ideas, to be home of ideas, with not only home of ideas, but to be home of ideas with actions. Okay, what I can say, the biggest thing that we should focus as an institution is advertising our institution 
marketing our institution. That is both administration and fellow comrades. On the other side, administration should only should also focus on introducing other courses that will attract many more students, hence increasing the number of intake that we'll be having in future. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Kiongozi now. Siyasa sasa ni siyasa, sindio? Yes. You know, most leaders when you onongoza injietu saizi, they probably, in one way or the other, they were student leaders. So, what next after the president, being the president of the Tapeta University? What is your dream, in other words? Okay, I started by saying that I'm young, <laughs> vibrant, yeah. and ambitious. I still have a dream. And it is normally said, it is not a crime to dream, but not to dream is a crime. So personally, I have an ambition. I have me a vision mm-hmm. of becoming an elected leader. That is outside to... outside <laughs> this outside this university. What's your plan? Currently, what I can say, uh-huh. I don't know what God is planning for me, uh-huh. but I just want to become an elected leader outside outside there. That is twenty twenty seven. When when twenty twenty seven approaches, yeah, and I find myself that God has said go for an MP. Yeah, I'll definitely go and contest as an MP of supporting constituency. Yeah, when that time comes and it is go for an MCA, I'll go and contest for an MC of Matis Ward. Thank you. Yes. So that is good, Kiongozi. Uh, I want you to talk briefly because you are a young people, you are a youth, eh? yes. and uh, I just want you to give a commentary on uh, the current governmental g- governance of our, of our institution. I understand very well, Kiongozi, uh, you will allow me a little latitude to just exclude this one. Eh? You are an Asmio supporter, a perfect one. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and a still loyal supporter. A loyal supporter to the Asmio coalition. Yes. Now that we have a, a different coalition leading our country, what do you think? Uh, what is your experience? Or what, is, do you, what do you think the youth okay, should do? Okay, personally, to advise fellow youths is that some of us are supporting Asmio yeah. and are still supporting the coalition. <laughs> yeah. We have not defected. But we should also give room for the ruling party so that at the end of five years yeah. they can come back and explain to those who believed in them and those who never believed in them that this is what we managed to do yeah. and this is what we never managed to do. So to my fellow Azimio supporters, let us support the current government. Let us ensure that they give their best, that they have the environment that is required so that in case of any failure, we should be no, uh, we, should, we should not be used as scapegoats. Yeah. Yes. So thank you very much for your submission, brother. I'm humbled. I'm looking forward to hosting you more and more times because there's a lot we should be talking about. We should be talking about the unification of Africa yes. because we are looking to the the unification. We are looking to unite our country yes. so that we can unleash more potential to the young people. Thank you. Now, Mr. President, I must conclude with a rushing up that. Uh, it's a fact. <laughs> There's something that you mentioned there. We were on uh, different coalitions. We started with the same coalition, as if I'm not wrong. Yes, we were in the same coalition. Yeah, during that is the, the, the institution uh, uh, politics. Eh? Then we ended up being in different coalitions. But now here we are on the same table, tapering our grievances, listening to each other. And that's what we require from you people. Because we believe that there is no enmity yes. in our the governance. One has to rule so that the other one can hold him accountable. Exactly. I'm honored for your presence here today. I just want you to I just want to give you one minute. You speak to the youths, the, the, the comrades, specifically comrades. Then after that, give us your handles. Where can somebody find you? Because there's somebody who can want mentorship mentorship, there's somebody who can want to, to be guided in an institution, to see the president, where are your offices, uh the so on. Your turn. Okay, what I can say, uh, this is what I can tell my fellow comrades, that in my leadership, in my tenure, we cannot promise to be perfect, but what we can promise is being consistent. We are going to be consistent, we are going to do what we are required at each and every time. Yeah. And to those who wish to know more about Wekesa, those who wish to work with Wekesa, you can find Wekesa first in Satu office, that is Runda C13, 
Yeah. You can also find the Kesa through his phone number which I might not. Oh, umesema number uta share. Kesa ile ni Kesa. But for the sake of comment I can share my number. Yeah, yeah, I, I will share it down there. Yes, but I think you have my number you'll just you'll just share that. In box serious things only. Yeah, in box serious things only. Yeah. And I think we'll be good to go. Yeah. So, kiongozi I'm just humbled for your presence here today. I know you are hard having a very very tight schedule that you created your time so that you can be in the focus of television uh, that shows that you are dedication to serve the people uh, i cannot take that for granted uh, i will only like you to take a minute or two because you are the president you are the power of the president is the commander in chief of the armed forces in the Veta university just tell students who like our channel the issue of focus television better focus means focus comrade side that is the original name of that just ask them to subscribe and like so that we can share more on Twitter. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, to my fellow comrades, what I can advise you today, it is, as you can see, this is a television which is being managed by one of our own. So kindly, it doesn't cost you anything to go and like, to go and subscribe to Fokota Television. If you do so, you'll be promoting a comrade and you'll be getting more of what comrades are saying. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very honored. It has been a pleasure meeting with you, Kiongozi. I'm looking forward to have the same same meetings. Thank you for your invitation. Yeah, Nashkuru Sana. Bye.